A mother prepares to bury her daughter, Arzu Asoy, and her 15-year-old granddaughter, Yamur. They were among the victims of Sunday's bombing in the heart of Istanbul, an attack authorities blame on the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, or the PKK. The last time I saw her was on Friday. We had plans. I don't know what else to say. It was here where the suspect, a woman, is believed to have left a bomb that exploded in Istanbul's busiest street. Istiklal is a major tourist attraction, and many fear the target was chosen to cause fear and instability. I am worried tourists will stop coming, and I'm also worried about our safety. My wife tells me not to go to work, but how long can I stay home? Police say they have detained dozens, including the woman whom they identified as Ahlam al-Bashir. The Interior Ministry says she came from Syria, where she was trained by the YPG, the Syrian Kurdish group which Turkey considers as an offshoot of the PKK. We got their message and I want them to know that we will respond to this in a very strong manner. The PKK, which has claimed some attacks in the past, has denied the accusations. There was a time when attacks similar to Sunday's happened frequently, from 2015 until the last major violent incident nearly five years ago. Istiklal Street was also among the targets. That attack was blamed on ISIL fighters. But many here say it's the military's recent operations against the PKK in northern Iraq and northern Syria that may have been the reason for Sunday's explosion. The timing of the attack also months before a general election. The government is already under pressure from the worst cost of living crisis in decades. It now is faced with a security challenge. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Istanbul.